the President of the Senate, Hamed Lawan, has lambasted the media reports on flooding of National Assembly after heavy downpour yesterday. Lawan says the leaking roof of the White House in National Assembly during the heavy downpour yesterday is a clear vindication on the part of the Parliament over the general decay of the Assembly complex. The matter came up again on the floor of the Parliament during Wednesday plenary when the Senate Deputy Chief Whip Abdullahi Sabi raised the point of order, querying some news reports that followed the incident. Let me advise the media. Uh, this is irresponsible, I must say, because seek the truth, investigate properly, come to us, or go to those who you think should know better before you compile and send your report. The fact that there was a leakage, to me, is a clear testimony, confirmation, and vindication of the position the National Assembly took initially. By the time we came into office by the grace of God and your endorsement, the speaker and I found it necessary to go around this complex and we found out the lapidation and degradation. In fact, anyone who sees what we have here knows that this place is overdue for rehabilitation. It's even worse downstairs. So we went to see Mr. President to complain to him that there's need to rehabilitate or renovate the National Assembly complex after being used for about 20 years and not rehabilitated at all. And Mr. President was gracious. He asked us to come back, engage the FCDA, who are the owners of this building. And for emphasis, when we approved the budget of 37 billion, Naira for the rehabilitation of this complex. It was not a National Assembly budget. It was an FCDA budget. We have nothing to do with this. But of course, some misinformed, some innocent, some deliberately mischievous went to town and were saying the National Assembly wanted to eat that seven billion Naira. There is nothing wrong with this place. This is the house of the citizens of Nigeria. In that report yesterday, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, three things were reported which were very, very inaccurate. That there was heavy downpour or leakage even in the chamber. That was not correct. There was leakage, of course, around the premises, outside the chamber. And also, it was reported that because of that leakage, it delayed our sitting. That also was not correct. The leadership had housekeeping matters. And of course, until the leadership comes into the chamber, sitting will not begin. So that was the only thing. Thirdly, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, and the most critical was that they reported the leadership as approving the sum of 37 billion for rehabilitation of the complex. At that reportage, if you follow what was being you know, reported or comments being made in the social media arising from that report alone, it stops at, they will just tell you, last year, 2020, the leadership approved 37 billion, and then they will show rain falling. The entire report was done to denigrate our integrity and to actually impugn on whatever it is that we stand for. I felt by that reportage, my privilege was breached, and I believe the privilege of my colleagues were breached. That is the point of my point of view.